Hello, and welcome to the Electric Training video series. This video will cover how to perform a field uniformity measurement. Before we jump into the measurement, let's review how to set up some important items. In the configuration wizard, you can select the amenity templates or common EMS items to import what you need to perform a measurement. We've already completed this step, so if you visit the device list, you'll see instrumentation such as amplifiers, antennas, and signal generators that have been preloaded that will allow us to perform the testing. We'll also take a quick look at the hardware setup. For this demo, we're going to use EN61000-4-3. As you can see here, the hardware setup is configured from 80 MHz to 1 GHz and shows how the instruments from the device list are connected. Next, let's visit test templates. For this demo, we're going to be using this field uniformity test template. We'll go ahead and open it. For this demo, we'll be changing the steps from 1% to 10% for the sake of time. We're going to use a test level of 10 volts per meter, which is already predefined, but you can change that value here. Also, under the test level tab, you can change the tolerances, or if you wanted to level on a limit line instead, you can click this button. Once you finish setting everything up, click save, and then run the test. To start the test, click the start button in the top right. Note that you can run the test in reverse using the other arrow button as shown here. For this demo, we are using simulation mode and manual positioning of the field probe. Because of that, Electra has paused for us to position the field probe into position 1. Once we're ready to continue, we click resume. Now click continue. We'll see that the test has begun and leveled up to 10 volts per meter as we defined before. Once the first position is complete, Electra pauses again and we can continue to position 2. You'll notice we have three different graphics in the test window. The leftmost is the generator output. The middle window shows the transducer forward power, which is the power delivered into the antenna. And then the rightmost window is the test level. For the sake of time, we'll now skip over the remaining positions. Now that all 16 positions have been completed, take a look at the uniformity window in the bottom right. You'll see the 61000-4-3 standard is listed as the standard, and the nom nominal field strength is selected at 10 volts per meter. Then click Uniformity Evaluation. A window pops up to save the reference calibration file. Name it appropriately and click Save. Here's where you can select results for each polarization that was tested. Click Details to view additional details related to the field uniformity. You can change the display mode to display required power in dBm or watts or the field strength distribution. Red points are positions which represent the four highest values at each frequency, which will not be included in the evaluation. You can step through the frequency points forward or backward using the arrows below. Note that the red arrows will jump to any critical frequencies that fell outside the tolerance, and the blue arrows allow you to go to each frequency whether or not anything fell outside the tolerance. If you want to generate a report, click the Report button. If not, click Close. We've chosen to create a report, and as you can see here, the results are pre-populated, and this is something you can export to PDF or DOCX using the Export button shown here. Or, you can click this paperclip icon to attach it within the test and Electra's database. Finally, click Save to save your test and give it an appropriate name. This concludes the training video on performing a field uniformity measurement. Thank you for watching.